The check engine light popped on in my car today, so I had to go take it into the shop. I hate taking my car into the shop. Every time I take my car into the shop, I leave feeling like a complete idiot. Now, I don't know anything about cars, and I don't pretend to know anything about cars. And so every time I go to get my car checked out, it's like, um, miss, did you realize that your back valve gauge pivot's about to explode? Because, I mean, that's a pretty easily checkable thing. Do you, you haven't, haven't noticed that before? No, I didn't know. Yes, I am fulfilling the stereotypical image you have of women in your head right now. Shut up. Because unlike you, Mr. Carmen, I'm not paid to know, so why on earth would I bother to find out stuff like that? Other than, like, keeping my car from exploding. But seriously, if I was a car specialist and mechanic, why would I be bringing my car into your shop? I mean, look at me, I'm just a stupid college kid. I don't know the ways of the world yet. Every time I take my car to a mechanic, any skill I had in driving magically disappears. Take today, for instance. Normally, I am a very good driver. But of course, not today. No, today as I got into my car and began to back out and then saw that there were loads of cars around me, instead of doing what anyone with at least half a brain would do and assessing the situation, I immediately panicked and started doing some sort of weird three-point turn. Now there's nothing wrong with three-point turns, except when it's blatantly obvious that you could have instead just backed straight out. It's especially bad when your three-point turn is around a bunch of cars and there are like 20 people standing around watching you get uncomfortably close to those cars. Because you know, you know, they are all standing around thinking, <laughs> woman drivers, which just drives me crazy inside. I feel like I had a moral of the story, but I can't remember it. Well, I guess suffice to say that taking your car into the shop is a pain, but it's a necessary evil, and they do fix your cars, so we should appreciate them. That wasn't at all what this video is about. I guess we'll end with this question. Does anybody else hate taking their car into the shop? And better yet, does anyone else's brain seem to seep out their nose right before they get there, thus making them look like a complete imbecile? If so, I'd love to hear comments about it. Or see comments, I guess I can't actually hear.